Hi everybody, it's Ramona. Welcome back. Um, I'm here to share with my weekly wax melts. Um, I have a candle, just one candle that I finished. And that's, and the rest is wax. Um, I just came back for a walk. It's finally, it was, last week I had to turn the AC on. It got that warm and humid. Last night I dropped down to the 40s, so it's a nice day for walking. I had a walk. Had some pho for lunch, because when it's cold, you eat pho, and it was really, really good. So anyway, um, I'm going to do this real fast, got a cop in the shower. So anyway, the one candle I finished was Yankee Candle Red Berry and Cedar, and this was really good. You got the cedar and the berry. The throw uh, was okay. I ended up putting it in my downstairs bathroom, and it threw pretty good in there, like maybe a six. Um, in the living room, I didn't really smell it at all, so in which... I'm finding um, is kind of common for my experience is that I'm not really getting great throw with some of the Yankee candles. I don't have a lot. I did buy, this is the first year that I really bought Yankee candles as opposed to Bath and Body Works. And a couple I've had kind of good luck with, but generally speaking, they don't throw really great. So I have a few more to go through. I might burn them this year or save them for next year. Oh my gosh, you do look slumpy, don't I? Okay. I also uh, dug out the Spiced Gingerbread Candle from Bath & Body Works. I melted this down last year. Was it last year? I melted it, yeah. Before I knew how easy chopping was, I'd you know, melt it and get a little tart pan and made these little tarts. Oh, that is so good. I didn't buy one of these this year. Um, and this is all I have left from the couple I had last year. But on semi-annual sale, I might, if, the, if there's one there, I might pick up another one. I don't even really need to be going to the semi-annual sale, but I'm sure I will. Okay, for tarts, I, um, I started the Rainbow Melts Holiday Sampler. I got it last week. And there was like, I think, four scent shots, 10 or 12 shapes, some tarts and whatnot. But anyway... The ones I melted this week is a uh, holiday chair, which is sparkling cranberry and pomegranate. This was really good. The throw was great. I got mostly, I got mostly cranberry, a sweet cranberry. Nothing, I didn't get a tartness, or at least now I'm not getting a tartness. This was really good. And the other one I melted was sweet holiday slumber. And this is vanilla lavender, sorry, vanilla lavender and sweet muffy. Oh my gosh. Let's start over. Lavender vanilla and sweet fluffy marshmallow. And this also was good. I'm finding I'm not a, as big of lavender as I thought I was um, before I started, you know, melting wax, burning candles. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just, I guess I'm just not a lavender fan. I, I, I feel like I should be a lavender fan because everybody loves lavender. Who doesn't love lavender? Uh, well, apparently I don't. I mean, I don't love it. I don't hate it. I'm just coming somewhere in the middle there. Okay, let's see. What else? Uh, also from Rainbow Melts, I melted ho uh, holiday candy, which is sweet fruit and tons of sugar. And this was sweet. It was very sweet. Um, well, and just kind of like, yeah, I guess I would say, I see, I didn't get much of a fruit note. I just got a sweet, very slight fruit note, um, mostly sweet, but it, whatever, it, it threw well. It did throw well. I melted Tiffany Candles eggnog. This was three fluted tarts. This I got last year. Tiffany Candles was one of the very first vendors I ordered from. Um, when I get into vendor wax a year ago, almost a year ago, right around this time, I guess. And, you know, unbeknownst to me, um, I didn't know sometimes you have to let it set, let it cure the, for the scent to, you know, mature. And so like I was melting all these Tiffany candles stuff and it's like, I'm not getting anything out of this. I'm not getting out of the, anything out of this, but I had saved some in my Christmas box for this year. And so when I started going through, I have this one and a peppermint one. And there was another one, I think. And a year later, they are really good. So note to self, I just, if I purchase from her again, which I'm sure I will at some point, just not anytime soon of anybody, um, I just need to let her stuff cure, you know, for a, quite a while in my experience. 
Um, I finished a Wonderberry Candy Cane Milkshake. And this has been here since last year. Crushed candy cane swirled in a cold, creamy vanilla shake. Pour date 11 to 16. So this is a year old. Um, and this was good. And it's just exactly like a milky, creamy uh, candy cane or peppermint. And that was good. There was, I think, five or six tarts in that, and I went through all of them. Um, okay, so mainstays cranberry mistletoe this is really really good i really 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 like this uh and i'm burning the candle right now i just did a review of the candle the other day and i really really like it clean burn still going strong yep really really like that cranberry mistletoe kind of an equal parts of cranberry and equal parts pine or the green note i really like that spiced cranberry this was good. I melted this with something. What the heck did I melt it with? What did I melt this with? I can't remember what I melted it with, but it's really good. So both of these are a repurchase. Absolutely repurchase. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I don't know if I will purchase them this year, but if they come out again next year, I will definitely purchase them. Or if they go on sale at the end of the season, I will stock up because they're both good. This one is by the fire. And I did a review on this maybe last month or so. Yep, no, 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 no. Uh, I, and as a matter of fact, when I, I melted this um, the other night and when I put it in, it reminded me, oh, that's the one I didn't like and I didn't even end up finishing the clam, I don't think. And I probably just should have ditched that at the same time. It's very, it's very colony. It has nothing to do with a fire to me. Like when I looked at this, like, oh, maybe it's gonna be like a smoky, Fireside scent, not at all, not at all. Nope, not at all. Would not repurchase that one. Would not care for that. Uh, President Snow from Super Tarts. This I've had since last year. Peppermint cream, white rose, and vanilla ice cream. And this was heavy on the rose. Mostly rose. I remember uh, when I melted this the other day, I was trying really hard to find the peppermint and I couldn't. It's, it, but the vanilla ice cream kind of makes it a milky rose, a creamy rose. It just tones it down a bit. Um, but so if you like rose scents, you'll like President Snow. Uh, for me, eh, I didn't hate it, um, but I didn't love it. I would not repurchase it just because I'm not a huge rose fan. And then uh, I have Christmas morning latte in right now. I purchased this last year, quite a few of them, not quite a few, maybe three or four, and I purchased, I think, two or three this year. I really like this. I really like this. Now, I know Canada Kim says she gets cinnamon. I do get, I do get a spice, kind of like, kind of like a gingerbread mixture or pumpkin spice mixture. But I also get this creamy latte note. So there you go. I don't get peppermint, I agree. I don't know why that peppermint stick is there. I don't get any peppermint at all. But yes, I get the, yes, I get the spicy note, but uh, I do like this. Uh, I, Christmas morning latte, I do like that. I would repurchase that. So that's it. Um, I hope everybody has a wonderful holiday weekend. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Whatever holiday you're celebrating, I hope you do it safely and with friends and family around. That's it, have a great weekend. I'll see you soon, bye.